Hi, I'm Maureen O'Connor, President of Palo Alto University, and I'm here today to welcome you to the 2019-20 academic year. We are so delighted to have you with us. Special welcome to all of our new students in our mental health counseling program, our MS program in psychology, our doctoral programs in clinical psychology, and our undergraduate program in psychology. We are so excited to have you with us at PAU. Welcome, too, to our new faculty and staff who've joined us over the summer, bringing incredible depth of expertise to our community and joining our wonderful existing faculty and staff. And welcome back to all of our returning students and to our staff and faculty, many of whom have worked hard over the summer to keep up the work that they do, especially their research and publishing and teaching uh, activities. For me, the summer was a time of reflection. I was able to think back upon the first three years of my presidency here at PAU. I cannot believe how fast it flew by, but I just am more excited every day to be president of this amazing institution. I wanted to bring our attention back, as I think we, is important to do at the beginning of every academic year, to our strategic vision statement, which is, of course, available on the PAU website. It's an excellent time to review the statement, to recommit ourselves to PAU's mission, values, and goals and objectives. Our mission, I just want to get this right, so I'm going to read it. Our mission is to engage minds and improve lives through excellence in research, education, and clinical practice in psychology and counseling with an unwavering commitment to diversity and improving the human condition. Those, that mission is supported by our core values, and I want to just highlight a couple of them, just as a reminder of who we are as an institution and who we strive to be. Our core values include commitments to social justice, cultural competency, and diversity, to high-quality scientific research and scholarship, to shared governance, and to rational and culturally responsive structures, policies, and procedures to ongoing self-evaluation, and to innovative programming, partnership development, outreach, and service, and perhaps most importantly, to a student-centered and culturally responsive environment, which means an educational environment that supports student academic success, personal and professional development, and a commitment to lifelong learning and service, while upholding the highest standards for quality and excellence. These are strong values, and they're important to our community. To su further support those values, objectives one and two of the vision charge us as follows. As a unified university, optimize the educational, research, and clinical training experiences for PAU students and faculty. And secondly, to strive for excellence and cultural competency in research, education, and clinical training. We do this by fulfilling objective number three, which is to maintain and enhance PAU's commitment to honoring culture and promoting diversity at the core of all academic and institutional initiatives. I want to highlight briefly four initiatives this year that will advance these important commitments. First, I'm so pleased that Professor Tacita Tomala has been appointed as the, our Director of Institutional Equity and Inclusion, where she will spend time working closely with Interim VP for Academic Affairs, Risa Dixon, with the faculty and with students and staff to place focused attention on equity and inclusion in our academic departments and programs. These efforts will be facilitated by a new university-wide committee on equity and inclusion that will spend this year developing visionary operational plans for how this committee can best advance our diversity goals. The committee will be co-chaired by Dr. Tomala and Dr. Crystal Nazal, and will have faculty, staff, and student representatives. I'm excited to work with the committee to see how we can truly advance those commitments here at PAU. Secondly, I'm grateful to Dr. Crystal Nazal, Dr. Sandra Leftoff, Dr. Will Snow, and Psychology Department Chair Kimberly Balsam and the entire Psychology Department, who will be leading an effort to review and assess our undergraduate plus two completion program. 
Our undergraduate students are an incredibly energetic, accomplished, and ambitious group of students, and every time I meet them, I'm more and more impressed. And we're dedicated to ensuring their success as undergraduate psychology majors. I'm also pleased to reaffirm the transition of our Student Services Division to the Student Affairs Division, now led by Dean of Students, Tom Shepard. This transition is more than a name change, as it highlights their important role in supporting student learning and development. Working with our faculty and our Division of Academic Affairs, our Student Affairs staff will work to advocate for support services that students need, identify professional development opportunities, support student clubs and councils as leadership development experiences, and work diligently to support student success. I'm excited to work with the Student Affairs Division this year to really enhance the work that they're doing. And fourth, to ensure that all our efforts are, are as work as well as possible, we're taking a close look this year at our shared governance model. We want to make sure that our Board of Trustees, our administrative staff, our faculty, and our students are working together effectively with clear communication and clear responsibilities. There will, of course, be much more going on at PAU this year beyond these things. And please encourage you all to take full advantage as much as you can with the activities. Our Continuing Professional Studies program will be offering a wonderful lecture series, a colloquium opportunity for students to talk to leading experts in forensic psychology. We'll be having an incredible speaker series um, launched by, by the uh, Innov Technology Innovation Group to talk about superstar psychologists and technology, so please watch for that. And just keep, keep in, engaged. Watch your emails. Make sure you come to events. You know, reach out when you, need, when you need assistance and when you have questions or ideas of things that we could do together. I look forward to seeing all of you over the coming academic year. And please, reach out anytime and have a wonderful year. Thank you.